Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Mark, aka Sways. I'm an artist and a producer coming out of South Florida. You are now tuning in with Rad TV, and let's get right to this interview. Sways, Sways, Sways. What? What? On my dick, she's a freak. She gon' suck on the team. She won't clap. I'm like, wow. She gon' clap. She like, wow. On my dick, she's a freak. She gon' suck on the team. She won't clap. I'm like, wow. She gon' clap. She like, wow. Uh, Google Maps, shot You could never find me. I actually started the music business, or I would even say trying to get into it, probably around high school. And how I got into it was really actually when I started, <laughs> not even live, but when I started making beats just to kind of attract the ladies, you know. Then me and my friends, we started kind of hanging out after school. We started kind of ciphering as well, having a little music session, and then it kind of started from there. Like, I didn't really have much to do after school anyway. So I just like, you know what? I might as well make some beats on my keyboard, get that beat, send it to myself, bring that beat to school, and then during after during or after school, I would actually just show my friends and we start rapping. And it kind of just started like that early. I love 50 Cent, man. That's honestly my favorite artist, business and rapping wise. You know, this man is amazing. Um, I also used to listen to a lot of Eminem back in the days, Busta Rhymes, Missy Elliott, but as far as who has really influenced me, I have to give it to John Legend, man. John Legend is really good. 50 Cent, Common, Talib Kweli, Most Def, like all of those type of older generation artists definitely shaped the music that I want to produce now and what I'm really trying to go for right now too. So um, I would say those are definitely some of my influences growing up. What I like most about what I do is the networking. You're always meeting new creatives. You're always in a different atmosphere um, that could either kind of help form the type of lifestyle you would want to live and the type of music you want to put out, or it could either take it away from it by you getting swarmed in that type of, you know, I would say situation and not knowing exactly if you're even making music for yourself or if you're making music for others. Um, if I also put it on one thing I really, really don't like, it's definitely the competition of others feeling like they can't really help another person that's near them. Like, as far as for me, I'm an artist, but I'm an artist that wanna help another artist. I wanna see other people win and other people succeed as well. And a lot of the people right now in the music industry, even locally, it, they're so greedy, you know, they're so stingy on their own type of connections. And I get that. You don't want to put another person on to what you got, but you can't ever say, oh, you know, I did this on my own because there was those that helped you get to where you're at now. So why can't you ever return the favor? And I think that's just one thing I really don't like, just the ego of other artists. Art Basel right now, so it's about to be a show, it's about to be lit. You know, I've been basically working hard and this is now what I have to show for us. So far. Um, to me personally, because I could really only speak for myself, musical attributes that I may have that could either help me or benefit me into the music industry is definitely being yourself. You know, I am myself. I'm, I'm a very talkative person. I'm a very, you know, extrovert kind of earth, like individual where I just want to talk to people. I want to put everybody onto my music. I kind of want to share my music with everybody as well. And I'm not nervous. Like I don't have stage fright. I don't really have a problem talking to people either. So that's my talent and that's my gift. As far as for those that's out there, definitely just focus on what makes you, you. You know, if it's that fear or that talent that you're kind of holding on to, and it, that's what's supposed to at least, you know, make you who you are, kind of exploit that. You know, make it, make it something that's a strength if it was a weakness before. And um, figure out what makes you, you, man. What makes you stick to you being you as well. And like, you can't go wrong with that.
I actually have another project coming out. I'm not gonna say it right now, you feel me? I can't really jinx it. Um, but I have another project that's actually a joint project with a producer and a friend of mine. So that's gonna be pretty dope. But as far as for me right now, I actually have another EP coming out. But this EP won't be no other EP or like, like no other EP that I had before. This is not gonna only be on SoundCloud. It's actually gonna be on every musical platform. So Tidal, Apple Music, iTunes, Pandora, Spotify, Shazam, if you even want that. It's gonna be everywhere. So therefore everyone around me and everyone around you could also stream it. So that's something that's in the works right now. And just be on the lookout for my music videos that's coming out real, real soon, real soon. Yes, I want to say continue being you, continue being true to yourself as well. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't become something. You know, if you got dreams, go ahead and keep those dreams to yourself and harvest them because if no one else knows your dreams, they can never shoot them down. So shout out to J. Cole. But make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Sways by Sways, no space, and also on my SoundCloud as well. Because it's your boy Sways by Sways. Tune in. You dig? She gon' bow, just like wow. Uh, Google Maps, shawty, you could never find me. Yeah, I wanna cuff you up, but shawty, you not wife. What you mean? You don't fuck the team, you not kissing me. You and me. In my bed, F U C K I N G. I'm a king, you is not the queen. You not royalty. On the scene, I'll be drinking champagne.